Hey, I'm Scotty T from your Comedy Minute. I have a very funny young man with me today. Abby Pomnani. Am I saying that right, Abby? That was on the money. That was on the money. Abby Pomnani. Wow. Holy God. Good. Yeah. Good. Abby, it's nice to meet you. We're just meeting for the first time, right? Yes, we are. How are you, Scotty? I I'm good. Thank you. And now you're a comedian based, you're based now in Toronto, Canada. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. But I'm guessing you're not originally from Toronto, Canada. That is correct as well. Yeah. I, uh, I'm an Indian kid and I grew grew up in the middle east um so it's yeah. been a bit of a it's been a bit of a you know journey and i grew up in this place called qatar have you heard of us uh oh. we had that fifa <laughs> world cup over there yeah 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 I have. We, we, yeah we got famous for the right reasons okay um but yeah so it's uh so it's been it's been about eight years now in uh in toronto and uh, this is where i started comedy as well and uh i'm coming up on two years in comedy now so it's it's fun it's, it's been going really well Okay, so that was going to be my next question. Well, let's go back a little bit. How did you get from Qatar, pronouncing that correctly? Yeah, Qatar, to, that is perfect. Yep. To Canada, how did how did that come about? Yes, yeah, so I came here for uh, my postgraduate uh, studies. I, okay. I, I was a civil engineer, and then I decided after finishing my undergrad, I'll move over here to do some uh, postgrad stuff. I was initially going to go to Alberta. Okay. Um, and that's, I think, around the time when the oil crisis happened. So I decided, you know, let's just go to Toronto, get in a job market real quick and start making some money. So that's what I did. I came to Toronto, did a bit of uh, post-grad stuff and started working in the construction industry. Okay. Yeah. And okay. then, uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, and then, uh, and then you know, from, from there on, I tried to like, I, I recently left my construction gig. I've moved into something else. Uh, okay. that's, uh, that works better with the comedy stuff. And, uh, so it's, it's been a good journey and, uh, you know, uh, Toronto is a really good city to be in for, especially for comedy. Yeah. I've, I've been to Toronto. Oh yeah. Nice. How, how do you I, like I actually, it? I was there, I would work for, I used to work in the music business and I okay. worked for BMG RCA record, BMG distribution RCA. And we were up there for seven days. And, uh, I mentioned last night to you when we emailed one another, Brad Goss, I believe, is also from Toronto, right? That is correct, yeah. And Brad Brad was on the show, and I told him when I was in Toronto, it was like the cleanest. I mean, I've been to New York and Philadelphia and, you know, some nasty cities here in the U.S. And when I went right. to, to Toronto, it was like it was so clean. And now Brad said it's not like that anymore. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I feel like it's, for the most part, you know it's it's fine but the subways are getting worse kind of thing you know there's always something going on and yeah. i still think it's fairly safe but yeah, is it saying, clean that's a whole different no, story he was saying there's not shootings but there's stabbings there when when was this yeah there have been a couple stabbings uh, yeah that's what i think he was down telling. in etobicoke and stuff yeah there's that's there's been a couple telling. incidents okay yeah. so now let's run through i have a few things written down here but you say You've been doing comedy for two years, is that right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Coming so up on two. Yeah. And how how are you finding it? It's it's fun, man. It's um, yeah. It's you know that that cliche saying of oh, when you get your first big laugh, you kind of fall into love with it, and it's like a drug, and you're addicted. Right. That's that's really what it is. Okay. So even on the nights that don't go well, you're looking forward to the nights right. that do, and you're working it um the other the other excellent part of comedy is like you come and meet some like there's no other world there's probably no other job where a guy like brad and i would ever cross paths right i would never i don't think a lot of people would cross paths with broad brad, brad. <laughs> exactly. yeah uh but like that is a crazy you know, character I, and he's much taller than he looks as well no I, like i've no, seen him I, in person i'm like god damn it he's tall yeah, Brad's 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 a. Let's not talk about Brad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, but, I love uh, Brad. Don't get so... me wrong, I love Brad, but Brad <laughs> Brad does some crazy shit. Well, let me talk. He does real... do some crazy shit. Let me talk real quickly about. You have a YouTube channel has fifty eight subscribers, forty one videos, forty seven thousand nine hundred thirty nine views. You're on Instagram. Oh, wow. You're on Instagram and TikTok. 
Uh, yeah. I'll put those links in this when I air it. I'll probably air it next sure. week or the following week. But I want yeah. to talk also uh, Breakpoint Comedy. Is that your club? Did you open that club? So Breakpoint Comedy is a show. And it's, okay. uh, I co-produced that show. I, I came up with the idea of it. I'm a, I'm a tennis kid. I used to be a tennis junior pro uh, oh, growing up. So I, I kind of took that and uh, opened Breakpoint Comedy. And it's a pro show. We uh, we booked some of the best acts that we can find in the country right now in Canada. Yeah. And um, we were inspired by uh, something Andrew Schultz said on a podcast, really. Uh, and that pretty much hit home for me because he was like, you know, comedy is like tennis. Uh, and it's in, it's this energy exchange. Now, the idea is not original, but just the wording of it, the way he put it, I was like, that's it. This is this is this explains everything. And I, um, yeah, I always wanted to do something that combines the two things together for me. And I have a friend, his name's Ryan Visser. He's also a comedian, very dark comedian, uh, really funny man. And he co-produces the show with me. Okay. Um, so. Yeah. The, the breakpoint comedy, is that in Toronto? It's 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 in Toronto currently. We're uh, we're doing our first road gig. Uh, we're taking Breakpoint Comedy on the road in uh, May, okay. uh, May twenty fourth, and we're going to do it in Belleville. It's a small town in Ontario. Okay. And um, then eventually we're going to start touring with the show in a couple months. Uh, you know, see how these first couple gigs go. Uh, but Toronto's been doing really well. Uh, Breakpoint Comedy has been doing really well in Toronto. Our first three shows, uh, our first show was almost sold out, and the next two were sold out. Right. Um, so, you know, we're, we're going, uh, we're going at it and we'll see how it goes. Okay. And, um, Brampton, you're not from Brampton. <laughs> I'm not from Brampton, sir. No, I am not. That is it. A... And, and I have your, a sweet and a sugar, sugar daddy or sugar baby. And also love, uh, yeah. treat this like a blow job. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that is um the sugar baby one. Wow, that's uh I I forgot I forgot about that joke. That was one of the first. That was a very early on, like two three months in joke. Yeah. Uh, the blowjob one has been recent. I I've been hosting a lot lately, yeah. and uh, so you know you get you get crowds that can get a little rowdy. You get crowds who get a little antsy. Um, I have a couple clips to post from that show still. Um. But yeah, I treat it like a blowjob. Like just sit back, relax, sit have back fun. And relax. Yeah. No, yeah. And, and, and if you go ahead, I'm sorry. I have stupid if, asshole. If, if you down. don't, I have stupid asshole written down too. What's that about? <laughs> stupid asshole. Well, damn, oh, I, I, that must that be another talking clip about me. I, I could be wrong. Oh, I oh I remember. Yeah. So so I was doing a gig in uh, Yuck Yucks, uh, which is like our one of our biggest clubs right. in uh, in Canada. And I was doing it in Yuck Yucks, London, Ontario. And uh, we had a heckler. Uh, just the, He was in general heckling the show early on. So when I went up on stage, I wanted to do a bit about him. Uh, but then as I was going through it, this guy was this guy was like, oh, he, he's, is he on the sidewalk outside? I'm like, dude, I'm, I know I'm the only Indian comic, but I'm not the security guard here, you stupid <laughs> asshole. So I think that, that was kind of what happened there. <laughs> well, but um... yeah. And then this guy just kept like your latest because you I, know he just kept going I, at it, but uh, it was a fun show. I, I went over to TikTok. I, I don't know if you probably don't know this. TikTok offered me to come over and do long form videos for them, and I won't do it. Um, I, I just don't. I, I don't do okay. TikTok. I won't. I'll do TikTok if it's sold to the US, but I won't do it as long as it's China. It's just me, but um, yeah. It's just my personal. Well, I heard it, isn't it? Pardon me? Isn't it getting banned in the U.S. or something? Well, there's talk about it. I doubt they will. It's just I don't like, and it's not the people of China as much as the China government. Sure. Uh, you know, I, I I just spy balloon COVID, them wanting to be number one at all costs and the way they treat their people. I don't want to, and, yeah. and TikTok offered me, you know, to lucrative to be, come and do it, and I won't do it. But uh Okay. I, no, I, I, it's just me. I mean, I, I just. It, I, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think I, I will personally say. Uh, for me, TikTok isn't really my 
go-to platform. You know, I, yeah. I, if you'll see, there is a difference in the numbers too. Well, I don't understand it. That's what I was going to touch on because your latest TikTok, which is actually very funny because it ties in, which I think, and again, not that I know anything about comedy. I'm doing my best, just like you're doing your best. But yeah, it ties into your heritage, whatever, where the girls heckling you about that being his boss. And yeah. you were like, and it's just such a great bit you do. I just love it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I was um I've I've noticed sometimes uh the same exact video will do very differently on TikTok versus what it does on Instagram and uh, versus what it does on YouTube. YouTube Absolutely. shorts, YouTube shorts. It's right now. I I'd say one of my favorite platforms for sure. Right. Uh, and I also think my bigger audience on YouTube is even though it's like 58 subscribers, but the most people that watch it are from the States. Right. Um, and since you were speaking of China, uh, one of my favorite jokes these days is, uh, you know, we don't, we don't give enough props to China because COVID is probably, lasted really long yeah, for something, for something that was made, made in, China. in China. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I yeah. No, I, and uh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, that's well now I got a couple more things here uh because I, I do have a trick up my of course story. yeah but I and we, we should do some humor. I mean like I, I'll do I, I had a woman I went to the supermarket the other day and I started talking she goes no don't tell me any more jokes that last joke you told me really upset me and the joke was what do you give a dead baby for his birthday? Dead puppy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she doesn't like me anymore, but that's fine. Uh, I wanted to talk about, and we're going to do some more, more jokes, but uh, you met your girlfriend on Hinge. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. And now she's your fiance. That is correct. Yes. Holy good good mugga. <laughs> what does she think about all this? She is, dude. I got so lucky. Like she puts up with a lot of my bullshit, and <laughs> and uh, she is incredibly supportive. Incredibly supportive. Wonderful. Uh, Wonderful. Like she, she's also she'll she'll sit through, watch my bid, tell annoy her to be like, like, hey, see this. Tell me what you think about it. And she she does this weird thing where she knows by watching a clip of mine exactly how I was feeling on stage at the moment. So she's right. like, because I know you and I've seen you, I can tell you're not this you're not hundred percent or like you know something's yeah. going off here. And I'm like, yeah, something was going off. So she she is damn man. It is. Uh, I think I think yeah. The whole like you listen to pro comics as well. You know, some relationships st stand the you know test of time. Some don't because you're out almost every night and you're like you know you're on the road sometimes right. and to be supportive through all of that like is uh is incredible so i uh i do i do get a little cocky sometimes and i'll you know i'll yap a little bit more but then in the back of my mind i know that she's i'm pretty lucky to have her and she's putting up with my bullshit so i'll go uh i'll go do the chores and whenever i can right do you do you do? But I do jokes? this. Uh, I'll do this one thing where if I go to yeah, sorry. Do I do any jokes about her? Yeah, that's was my question. Oh yeah, yeah. There's uh, yeah. Wow. some of my earlier bits. Uh, yeah, some of my earlier bits were about. Uh, have I have this joke where I say, you know, she's uh, no worries. Uh, right. I was saying that uh, one of my earlier jokes was about. Um, I think it was a bit of a pun, but I, I kind of enjoyed it. It was about. Uh, me telling how she's becoming a Toronto girl now and in Toronto everybody's about mental health and shit yeah. uh, so you know I was like you know she's been asking me to make myself a priority uh, so now when we have sex I make sure I come first so that used to be my <laughs> I did I did two jokes uh, there's, a, there's a young lady hopefully going to be on the show uh, Jazz is going to hopefully be on the show and she did uh, Instagram reel and she did a bit about that we role play where I let him pretend that he wears the pants in the family and so oh. that spurred two jokes because I'm old I, I'm 16 yeah. years old and I two jokes hit me uh, my wife said to me who wears the pants in this family 
And I said, I don't care who wears the pants. I just want to control the zipper. That was the one. <laughs> and that's and funny, the yeah. other one, and both of them, and they blew up on threads. Uh, and I'll oh, get nice. to that in a second. But the other one is, my wife said to me, who wears the pants in this family? And I said, I like it when neither of us are wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one too. But go, tying back into what you said, I yeah. had a joke blow up on Instagram that on YouTube, it didn't yeah. do hardly anything, but it's at 300,000 views on Instagram. Right. And on Thursday or Friday, all of a sudden threads started blowing up. And for three days now, I went from a right. hundred followers on threads to now over 1100. And it just, my phone's going off constantly. I think somebody, oh, hit wow. wrong, I okay. think somebody hit the wrong, <laughs> excuse me. I think somebody <laughs> hit the wrong switch. I'm sure that's not the case. No, 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 um, no. I, I think, I you. think, and this is a, my first of all, you don't look 61. You realize that you look best at best late 40s. <laughs> oh, at best, Daddy, I got one foot in the grave and the other in the banana peel. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, you, you got one more war left in you. I don't know, Abby. It, it, <laughs> let's talk about that funny little drink and a drug problem I got. <laughs> hey you're right 61 now, abby, you got not, nothing to lose right now i'm eating shit out of the air abby i'm not getting <laughs> off oxygen right now abby but no i i want to uh i want to try and surprise you because as we talked about we've never met no and we have no idea what i'm gonna say or what i'm gonna do and i have no idea what you're gonna say or do but yeah i saw these videos about the Trump tennis training. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Those videos did not do well. Uh, they did no, not. But, but I had fun making them. I had fun making you, them. You did a really good Trump impression, and you had a big racket. And I think at one point you, yeah. compared, you compared it to the KKK. Yep, I did but I got something for oh, you. Go ahead. The TTT. Yeah. Well, now I understand. Because no, I was just like, I called it the TTT. <laughs> yeah, because you're a tennis guy, and now I get the whole break point comedy. But I wanted to share yeah. something with you, and this is this is called Scotty yeah. keep pulling a trick out of his sleeve here. Uh, I have a Donald Trump. Oh, look. Look at talking that. Doll. There Look it is. at that beauty. A doll getting... talking doll. It actually talks. Wow. It does. I don't know if I can get it to do it, but and just so we're clear, Abby, I, I'm not a Trump. I don't do politics at all. Okay. Um, yeah. Somebody sent this Please. to me oh, my God, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. I'm going to try and get it to talk for you. Okay. Make sure you have the right one. Can you hear it? In my opinion, you gotta be tough. I can I can I can hear him say I can hear him say make sure you have the right one. <laughs> Enough with Donald. Uh no, and I'm not a I'm not a Trump guy. Uh someone said that yeah. to me because I, I fired so many I had bought a, a house and it needed all kinds of work. So I hired these construction guys and they, yeah. you know, they would not, they would work a day or two and then they, they wouldn't show back up. So I'd fire them. And after I fired like six yeah. of them, my buddy sent me that and said, here, you're Donald Trump. <laughs> hey man, he is, he is comedy gold. Say what you will. As far as I'm concerned, all I care about is he's comedy gold. He's, he's, uh, here in the U.S., so it's, you don't get more polarizing than Trump and Biden. Yeah, and and so is like I don't know if you've heard about the stuff our guy does here, Justin Trudeau. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's comedy gold as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great stuff. Well, listen, uh, you know it's up to you at this point. You can. I really want you to to do whatever you want to do, and then we'll end with 
with your yeah. comedy minute. But uh, is there anything? Sure. No, no, let's first make sure we cover everything that we, we want to cover with you and what you have co going on besides, um, you know, Breakpoint Comedy. What else do you have going on? Well, I've, I, I'm coming to the States this week. Uh, oh, you are? Next week. And yeah, I am coming to the States next week. It's primarily just for some family business. Okay. Uh, but I'm trying to, I, I have a couple of comedy friends there who also, you know, hop between Toronto and so uh, I'm hoping to sort of ex explore the New York scene a little bit. It, it probably okay. won't make any difference in terms of like my career or anything, but it will. I'm hoping to get a feel for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I've uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, shows lately with Yuck Yucks uh, in Niagara Falls, so that's very close to the states. Um, so one of the big ones coming up is on April 26th. And uh, it'd be awesome if some uh, if anyone watching this uh, if they're close by and they want to come out check it out. It's a, it's an amazing venue and you know it's um what's this is my second one of that sort. I was what's it Abby, yuck yucks April twenty six and what's what's the name of the place again? Yuck yucks at okay at Niagara Falls. Yeah, I've been to Niagara Falls. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, beautiful place. Uh, you get you get everything. You get comedy, then you can go to a dive bar called Big Texas and uh, pick up some ladies very easily if you want. <laughs> um, but but yeah, I'll, I'll give them I'll give them the rundown once they get there. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, so uh, yeah, and I, I guess I missed that part. So your family's here in the United States. No, I have some close friends uh, that I've okay. known for a while, uh, you know, and uh, so I'm just heading over to see them now that now that I'm a uh, Canadian officially. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, it, it's going to be fun. Um, but but that's that's really it. And, and, you know, there's always gigs happening throughout the month. And I, I usually put up my posters um, okay. at the start of the month. So there's a couple of shows that I'm involved in during April. And uh, that's that's pretty much it, man. You know, well, I will, nothing, I, will uh... post, I will post those uh, in my community section on YouTube. I post, Thank you. you know, before I, you know, in other words, if this airs, it'll probably air uh, not this Saturday, next Saturday. I will do a, an edit and I'll share it on Instagram because uh, Instagram, you can only do what, a minute and a half or something. So I'll do I think so. Yeah. If you've looked at what I've done with most folks, I do a snippet a preview on Saturday yeah. night, then it airs on Saturday. But again, I'll yeah. include all your links, uh, you know, TikTok, Instagram, your YouTube. And I'm going to stop you. recording a little bit early because I want to talk to you off the record. There's some things I can help you. Uh, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. If you saw my numbers, I've been blessed, you know, to be over five. You, yeah. 11,000. 11, yeah. I, I think people wow. like dumb old guys. <laughs> <laughs> I... I wouldn't say dumb. I think people like. I think people like the raw stuff. Really, and this is this was a very raw conversation. You know, and I I don't think either of us really. You you actually did a lot of research. I did. Wow, I'm I'm flattered. <laughs> I don't well, think I deserve that kind of attention. Because, because because Abby, it's a it's a it's a, a sign of respect. You're taking your time to be here, and I want to make sure it. that Thank I you. have, you know, some stuff that'll like pulling the Trump doll out and. You know, the, you know, just just having because it's important. It's important because I yeah. have a good time and, you know, I can check back in with you, you know, a couple months down the road or whatever. And Abby, yeah, it's very good to see. You. And uh, we'll lose that first meeting, that spontaneity of today. But hopefully we'll pick up yeah. because I enjoy that. Oh, for sure. I, I saw that Larry David talked about Curb Your Enthusiasm and that's unscripted. Yeah. It's kind of why I like doing these this way. No, this is this is this is an incredible experience, honestly. And, good, and good, thank you. <laughs> I I know I reached out to you, but you were you've been incredible. Well, let's, this is let's this end, is very very friendly. Let's, let's end with your comedy yeah. minute, okay? That's why it's called your comedy minute, and you're here, and it's your show. You go as long or as little as you want to go. Yeah, so I was I was actually thinking about the the bits that I really like these days, and you know, since I'm I'm recently engaged. Uh, there's this one bit that Nate Bergazzi does about uh, his wife saying, you don't listen. And uh, it goes something 
like uh, my wife's always like, you know, you don't listen, you don't listen. But I've heard that. Uh, it's just that some of the other things she says, I don't listen. But uh, I also don't think that uh, over the last 17 years, she said everything that she thinks she said. She might have said it in her head. <laughs> and uh, and then, you know, he's like, uh, he's like, she might have said it in her head. But it can't be that for the last 17 years, you're batting a thousand and I'm over zero. Yeah. <laughs> it just can't be right. it's like the other day, you know, she, uh, she, uh, she put something on Facebook marketplace. Um, and uh, she's like, it's not, he's like, it's not like a used car or anything that will bring in money. She put up stuff that we should be throwing out like a folding kid's chair or something for $5. He's like, best case scenario, we get $5. Worst case scenario, our whole family gets murdered, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, this is, this is so, so much on point. Cause last, cause the last whole month I was like, my, my, my fiance, she was making me take pictures of the stuff she wants to sell. Right. So it was like a full, you know, it was the whole exercise of like three full boxes of stuff. I'm like, just put it in the donation box. Like, right. come on. And she's yeah. like, no, I paid all this $20 for this. <laughs> When you, like, okay. when you started up, first off, he was just on Saturday Night Live not too long ago. He's a great comedian. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, when you started that, that reminds me of the joke about my wife says, I have two flaws. One, I don't listen and something else. <laughs> <laughs> and there was another, another yeah. one that came to mind there, you know, that just. But, yeah, it's I, I love comedy that you can relate like I, and i'm gonna end with this but it's something that yeah. i've been working on because it's an old saying and i'm not sure if i want to do it as like you said a youtube short but there's three types of people in this world people that make things happen people that watch things happen and people that say yeah. happen <laughs> <laughs> i just like that now i don't know if it'll work you know that's actually great that is actually great yeah I, I, yeah, but you know what, he, what happens is, uh, that I, whenever I like it, that's the kiss of death. <laughs> no, I, Hey, uh, in that case, uh, yeah, I like it too. So I'm hoping it works. <laughs> usually, usually I'm not, I, I, I did this one bit where I was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not good at, uh, I may not be talented, but I'm great at spotting talent. Uh, but that's also a very bad line to say on the first date. She thought I was a pimp, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you should. Well, so, Abby, yeah, that... I'm sure you're sure. Abby, I'm going to stop the recording, but hang out. Thank you so much for being here. I had a lot of fun. For sure. Is there anything Thank else? You for you Thank you for having me. Know? This was this was very, yeah, this was incredible. OK, cool. no, we're great. Thank, Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Hang out for a minute. I'm going to stop the recording and we can talk a little bit off the air, okay? Cheers.